state government has its ear to the Upper Peninsula art scene. TV6's Houghton Hancock Bureau reporter Mariah Powell has more in tonight's entertainment report. They were that and more, but they were that for seven yeah. counties. Yeah. You know, they're always so welcoming here. I so appreciate that. It's always awesome to be here. The executive director for the State Council of Arts and Cultural Affairs is conducting a listening tour to gather feedback from local and regional arts organizations. The information will be used for their 2019 strategic plan renewal. The listening tour also shares information on opportunities and grants to assist cultural programs. Well, I want to make sure that um, not just the arts and cultural organizations, but I want to make sure that they are, are communicating with the schools. We have some great programs for K-12 and well they're just not seizing the opportunity that's there for them. The Council for Arts and Cultural Affairs hopes to form an Upper Peninsula Arts Alliance and is working with Scandinavian foundations to bring Finnish artists in residence to the area. The arts are so important. We're seeped in the arts and um, the trouble is I think a lot of people don't really know about that if they don't live here. They don't think of us as an arts destination, but more and more we're becoming that and it's it's uh, the arts are alive and well in the, in the UP. The listening tour stops in Ironwood, Hancock, Marquette, Escanaba and Sault Ste. Marie before moving south to the Lower Peninsula. I'm Mariah Powell, TV6 News, Hancock.